Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Todd Seminite, 54 Chief of Engineers, and we're on the road again. It's two days before Thanksgiving, and we're out here in San Francisco for a great promotion we just did for the Helminger family. With me is Pete Helminger, was a colonel about an hour ago. We brought him up on the stage, and with all of his family and friends and the teammates there from that division, we took and pinned on him the rank of Brigadier General. Pete, as you know very well, this rank is not about rewarding you for what you've done. It's because the Army recognizes the great uh, potential you have to continue to serve our nation. A lot of emotions, I'm sure, going through your mind. What are some of the things that uh, really resonated with you today about this promotion? Well, well, sir, first, I have to say that I'm truly grateful for this opportunity to continue to serve. And, sir, I've served all across the Army and all across the Corps of Engineers, from Korea uh, to Europe to Afghanistan. And, uh, and first, I have to say that I'm grateful to the people, the men and women of the Corps of Engineers, that make a difference each and every day and allow us to deliver the program. And, and I'm, uh, as a general officer, I am delighted for this opportunity that I can continue to champion change for our organization. Uh, the, the rank is symbolic, but it gives me more authority uh, to operate at, at peer levels with our senior stakeholders here in the Pacific Southwest region so we can continue to advance our efforts to solve our nation's toughest challenges. And we're doing many of those challenges right now, sir, as we're, we're, uh, we're moving debris for the California wildfires. Uh, we're, we are supporting our, our valuable partners with the Department of Veterans Affairs and continuing to provide world-class support to the Army and the Air Force in this relation throughout the region. So, Pete, obviously great officer. You've got a lot, a lot of great missions out here in the division. One of the things we talked about today was all the attributes of what we look at as in a senior leader. And we kind of talked about being a great warfighter and being a great technical engineer, a great strategic leader, and maybe a great patriot. If you were to give any guidance out to our younger leaders, whether it's a, uh, an officer or one of our great civilians or an NCO, what are some of the things that maybe really allowed you to continue to be able to understand what leadership's all about and to be able to continue to be value added to the nation? Well, sir, the, the number one trait that, uh, that I have tried to emulate throughout my career is to take care of soldiers. Now in the Corps, that's to take care of people. It was a trait that I learned early in my career by, by watching my battalion commanders as I moved up the rank. And I really believe that uh, if you take care of people, that they're going to put in the extra effort to take care of you and, more importantly, take care of your, account, your organization and work as a team to accomplish the mission. Well, one of your themes in the speech, I think, was the three Ps. What do the three Ps stand for? Yes, sir. So, so my priorities as a commander going back from Europe District to Afghanistan District to here in SPD is to take care of people, support our partners, and deliver programs. You know, and part of that, the whole people thing, uh, today with us is obviously your beautiful wife, Claudia. I think right now 15 different moves, Claudia, all around the world. Two great kids, uh, John and Lucy, nine different moves out there. I mean, we talk about the family, we talk about the Corps of Engineer family, the Army family, but for the Helminger family and everybody in the regiment, this is all about being one team. We go at places together, we serve together, we're all committed to take care of this nation. And the bottom line is, is that uh, our nation needs our military, our military needs our Army, and our Army really does need our Corps of Engineers. So uh, all of us in the Corps are so proud of you, your family, everybody here in the division. And I think this is just a great example to be able to say to everybody out there, we're Army strong, building strong.